Let's talk about games, shall we? So, what is Final Fantasy VII? The original Final Fantasy VII is a 1997 role-playing game developed by Square for the PlayStation console. The game story follows Cloud Strife, a former soldier turned murderer, who joins an eco-terrorist organization to stop a world-controlling megacorporation from using Mako as an energy source. Now, be it back in the day that there was just text and no voice acting, we didn't know whether to call it Mako or Mako. So, if you call it one or the other, it's no big deal. Anyway, development on Final Fantasy VII began in 1994, originally for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. After delays and technical difficulties from experimenting on several platforms, Square decided production go to the PlayStation, largely due to the advantages of the CD-ROM format. The game had a staff of over 100 people. Final Fantasy VII is easily one of the most remembered games to date from the PlayStation 1 era, and can be argued one of the greatest games of all time. So we're here to talk about the Final Fantasy Remake scheduled for release on April 10th, 2020. I got to play the demo recently and I figured I would share what I thought with the rest of you. I must admit I had my doubts and worries about them remaking this game, especially the battle mechanics. But I have to admit, from what I've seen so far, it's turned out to be pretty good. I'd say there's some hope for the future of this game, especially being that a lot of the fans waited so long for this remake to happen. So this time around with Final Fantasy VII, we're going to have voice actors along with the better graphics. And those voice actors include Britt Byrne as Tifa Lockhart, Tyler Hjotlin as Sephiroth, I'm sure I screwed that name up, Cody Christian as Cloud Strife, Brianna White as Aerith Gainsborough, John Eric Bentley as Brett Wallace. I can't say I know many of these voice actors by name, and I don't think that they're the same actors from the past games and or movies that we know and love. However, from what I've heard in the game, the voice acting is pretty well done. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. Cloud Strife. He isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, buddy. I like your armor, though. The new graphics, even for the demo, are pretty amazing to see also. It's always really cool to see something you played on an older console come to life. Here's a little bit of gameplay that I experienced while I was playing the demo. I hope you enjoy. Loving the music. Gotta memorize the attack patterns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's some bullshit. Find an opening. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. What you doing now? To be honest, I'm excited for this game coming out, even despite the worries I had when I first heard about it being remade. I'll be there buying the game just to see how it turns out, and hopefully this time around has a finished storyline. <coughs> Looking at you, Square Enix. <coughs> I'm interested to see if they're gonna add anything, take away anything, change things. I'm interested to see all of the above. And actually, after playing the demo, Square Enix, you have my attention, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. It'll also be very interesting to see if this game withstands the test of time, even with added voice acting and graphics from that old 1997 storyline. You all keep hearing me talk about nostalgia during the gameplays and reviews. Well, I remember this game back when I was in high school. Hell, I spent three hours in front of the PlayStation with my mother in the living room at midnight on a school night trying to kill Sephiroth at the end of the game. Also, P.S. My parents are half the reason I'm a huge gamer. They were gamers too. So, will this game be good or bad? Well, in the long run, I have high hopes for this game. 
And just like the first Final Fantasy VII was standing the test of time, time will tell with this game. You can expect an actual review from me when this game comes out. Till then, nerds, we'll see you on the next Let's Talk About Games. It's up to one soldier of fortune to save the world. If he succeeds, you survive. If he fails, you can always hit the reset button.